Berlin, the city that never sleeps. The capital that steals your soul and replaces it with Pilsner and kebabs. We're here for a few days to paint, party and meet some old friends and try to make home in one piece with some money left in our bank accounts. The Cloth Mother Spraycation Adventure continues. So you got your little baby with you. <laughs> our first stop once stepping off the plane was to meet our friend Karim. He's from the artist duo at Any Collar and is a true gentleman for hooking us up with some cans and taking us to our very first painting spot in Berlin. I didn't film a great deal on that first night, but we literally ate and drank like kings. We did skip breakfast and lunch though, and I'd been craving a Turkish kebab, so mission accomplished. This gave us time as well to sit down and plan out the next few days, what we were going to paint, and where the best locations were. And we had some fucking amazing food from the Asian Quarter. I wish I could remember the restaurant, but oh my god, it was so damn good. This paint spot is called Mauer Park. It's a bit of a hike, especially with paint, but the walls were flat and tall enough to do a semi-decent piece. Highly recommend it if any painters are trying to find a spot when they visit. As you know, I'm all about cat life, and when Ian suggested that we do a cool cats piece, I was all about it. So this is what we painted, trying to dodge the rain clouds, and finish this piece before it got too dark. I didn't capture this on film, but unfortunately, the next day was just a complete washout. We decided to abandon the paint plans and just focus on checking out the gallery scene. This gallery was called Urban Nation and it housed artwork from some of the biggest names in street art, graffiti, slash the contemporary urban art scene, or whatever you want to call it. It just so happened that week the Walsh fam were also visiting, so we did what we do best, drink, eat and drink some more. The nightlife in Berlin can eat you alive. At 6am there were still clubs that were open. 
I didn't travel this way to be hungover in bed. Plus, there was only supposed to be a small window of time the next day where it wasn't scheduled to rain. This spot is called Raw Skate Park, only a stone's throw away from where we've been clubbing the night before. I hate to go down to the floor. We met up with Karim again, but obviously more rain. Sadly, all good things come to an end. Broken and tired, we head home. But the journey isn't over. There's more trips on the horizon, more countries to visit, and the next Cloth Mother's vacation to pencil into the diary. Until next time, ka-pow.